Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We are going to teach you about the pathogenesis or pathophysiology of amyotropic lateral sclerosis. Okay, again, my name is Premier Chariat. I'm a uh, director of research and I teach medical students. I'm a program director of internal medicine and the transitional residency program. So let's just jump into our subject. So we're going to talk and we're going to teach you about the pathogenesis of amyotropic lateral sclerosis. It's also known as the Lou Gehrig disease. It's a disease or like a fatal disease that affects upper and lower neurons, okay? When you talk about amyotropic, that means without nourishment of the muscles, lateral means side, and the sclerosis means hard, and that means like the end advanced airless. So how does it, I mean, how does it affect um, that is our question. The main thing when you talk about the pathophysiology we need to know is the TDP pro protein 43. Um, a lot of information is coming about this role of this uh, transactive response DNA binding protein. Okay, remember if you had to remember something always remember this TDP protein 43. What does it usually do? It got like around 6,000 RNA target in the brain and then can be involved in the RNA processing and they make protein. So if you had to remember something TDP uh, protein 43 is involved in making proteins, okay? So with this uh, 6,000 RNA binding um, targets in the brain, which are, I mean, it's very important, this normal thing to work and make the normal neuronal function and normal uh, neuronal homeostasis, uh, TDP protein, play a very, very important role. Now, okay, the other pathophysiology, there's, you know, we talk about genetic, there's mutation, uh, there's mutation in the TRDP gene, okay? Does that affect this TDP43 and that can cause like the abnormal TDP43 which kind of related to neuronal accumulation of TDP43 and neuronal loss and uh, it affect the neuronal homeostasis and causing all kind of problem, okay? Remember the mutation in the TARDP gene which affect the TDP43. Now, um, if we look at the other pathophysiology, there's also protein degradation pathway in our system. There are two types of protein degradation pathway. One is called ubiquitin proteasome system, which degrades short-lived uh, short soluble proteins, okay? And when you look at the other one, it's like uh, autophage lysosomal pathway, which degrade long-lived uh, long soluble proteins. And there is usually a defect in there. And what happened when you, again, defect, there's accumulation of this TDP43, and neuronal degeneration and neuronal damage, homeostasis is uh, always, um, you know, become problematic. Um, so, and all this uh, neuronal, I mean, CNS symptoms, upper motor neuron and neuro lower motor neuron lesions um, will come into place and eventually uh, patient will uh, face death, okay? Thank you so much for watching the channel. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.